Welcome to part 19 of the Intermediate Revit course. We're going to do the final render in Enscape now after changing the skybox and change some lighting settings as well. If you'd like to get access to all of the course files, materials and resources, as well as four hours of ad-free content, you can feel free to check out the full course on my website. I'll see you there. Probably the trickiest thing when you're doing any kind of rendering is getting the lighting right. With an overexposed rendering like this, it can get quite difficult. The best thing we can do is try to resolve that in Enscape before bringing it into Photoshop and then if we need to make any adjustments, we can do so. What we're going to do is use a skybox. If we go to visual settings, what I'm going to do is set a skybox and this is going to be something that you can download if you're on the website and you've got access to the project files. Go to the sky tab going to go to source and click on skybox. Now this is going to remove the original inbuilt sky from Enscape. And what we can do is now load a skybox in. Load in a HDRI image. And I have a little bit of a library here for you guys, which will be available to download and you can try out some different skyboxes. I'm going to use a over the top HDRI uh, sky image. As you'll see, it's um a very, red sunset kind of sky and you can already see that that's changed what this looks like and if we have a look outside the sky it's not being shown properly at the moment there's obviously some uh, kind of issue there so what I'm going to do in the visual settings I'm going to first of all just rotate this and see if it shows up it's not going to show up though so I'm going to press the normalize the average brightness to the value set below there we go we now see that sky you can see what I mean it's a massive sunset in, I don't know, Venice or something. What the HDRI is, is a full panoramic image, which you can then insert into any kind of rendering program like this. What I want to do is get the sunset over where the sun is. So I'm going to, in the visual settings, change the rotation. And we're going to rotate this HDRI around until we see that sunset around about there. Now, if we go back to inside, if we go back inside, we can see what this looks like from our point of view of the render now. And you can see it's still a little bit overexposed in the visual settings. Change the Lux value to then try and change the exposure of this. So if I bring this down, you can see that it is darkening that background image. And if I were to bring this up, you can see that it just way overexposes it, which is not what we want. So we want to bring this down to a point where, you know, it hasn't lost all of its color and it's just dark. We want to bring this up to a kind of balance point. We can adjust what this looks like in Photoshop later again, but we want to be able to see at least some detail in the sky so that we can bring that up. If it's just white, like it was earlier, then we won't be able to bring that detail in in Photoshop. But if we do have at least some detail of the sky, we can bring that in, change the contrast and levels of that in Photoshop. I think that will be pretty good for now. You can see detail out through these windows. What I'm going to do is line this up to how we want the render to look. What I'm also going to do is change the output to Ultra HD so that we do have a little bit more room for um, adding in details in Photoshop because the resolution is much higher. So I'm just going to hit the render button and I'm just going to call this FIR for final interior render and we can call it one. Save that out, let it render through. So I was editing through this final clip of me going through the render in Photoshop, changing the lighting settings, adding some final details and touches. And as you can see, I probably got a bit carried away. This is all in Photoshop. And as you know, this is a Revit course. So I've decided just to skip through this and I'm just going to do a completely new course that is Photoshop related. So I'm not going to include it in here, but stay tuned because there is definitely way more to come. I'm going to do a complete Photoshop course. And you can see here is the final image, the final render, and it looks really damn cool. So hopefully you guys can come up with something similar to this. And we're going to get into the last lesson now. In the next lesson, we're going to do a basic overview of adding views onto sheets to finish off the Intermediate Revit course. If you'd like to get access to all of the course files, materials and resources, as well as four hours of ad-free content, you can feel free to check out the full course on my website. I'll see you there.